Oh wait, could I have talked to someone else? I feel like I could have talked to someone else. I think I could have talked to Otto about his thing, but I don't know if I should. Well, let's see. Let's see. I think they're. I think they're all gone. I think they're all gone though. Oh no. The sin of Saul. The sin of Saul. Master, did you hear that? It sounded like someone crying out. I think it's Sister Amelie. She's a mystic. She may be having one of her visions. Sister Amelie, are you all right? Oh, oh wait, how are you supposed to? Mom? Yeah, I think I'm saying this kind of right. Or is it Amelie? The Philistines, this is the hand of God. Complete. Complete. Sister, is something happening at Complete? It's Complete right now. No. Oh. Hey, yo, sister, you all right? Maybe I should have asked her if she's okay. You're the artist, Andreas. Yeah, you okay in there? I'm tired. Was I talking? Yeah, yeah. Saul and the Philistines and Compton. Oh, I wish Father Thomas were here. Would you like us to go get him? If he could, yes. His house is just around the corner. Caspar, go get Father Thomas. Okay. Your son? My apprentice. He seems eager to please you. Yeah, really enthusiastic. I have little knowledge of the workings of masters and apprentices. My world is one of spirit, decoupled from the march of life and death. I see and hear your world turning from this little window, but they are mercifully small glimpses. Yeah, it's, it's a hard life. The life is not difficult, but the choice was. My life belongs to God, and its trials are mine to endure in this cell. Your world is the world of normal lives and normal thoughts. It can be difficult to hear the divine, much less make sense of it. I have no will to be part of that world. I strive to have no will at all, but to subordinate myself to the will of, will of God. When my will is his will, he graces me with visions, confusing though they may be. Well, if he's giving you them, then you might you probably want you to understand. Understanding is a trial, Andreas. Perhaps what God wants from me is to strive in is to strive, and in striving to understand a different, deeper mystery. It's not my place to question his will, but to contemplate the revelations I received with the help of Father Thomas. Sister, what's this hole in the ground? My grave. Hmm. I dug it before Father Thomas read me my funeral rites, before I was enclosed here. I dig a little more in it each day. Most people find it shocking, but this is my devotion, my vocation. Once something, once someone finds their calling, they must answer it, answer it fully. Hmm, I don't think it's that simple. I find that God's calling is simple and singular. It is the rest of the world that is complicated. Is your calling in question, Andreas? Is your life? Both. <laughs> I've lost my love, my love for art, love for family, love for anything. The last seven years have been hard, it was all too much for me. Don't lose hope, Andreas. The human heart is no small thing, it can hold so much. Hey, you good? Andreas, thank you for sending Caspar. Yeah, she wanted you. Are you alright, Sister Amelie? Yes, Father, I may have had another vision. Andreas said I spoke of the sin of Saul, Philistines, and Compline. What do you think it means? Andreas, Caspar, could you excuse us? We appreciate your help, but I must tend to her now in the church. Okay. God bless. Master, Master Andreas, I'm confused. What did all that mean? I'm not sure, but the last time I heard Sister Amelie have a vision, it was just before the Baron was murdered. What? Do you think, could Sister Amelie be receiving warnings? Hmm, it's easy to think that, especially after the fact, but I was only present for one murder and one other vision, so... But what if there's another murder? 
If that happens, I may revise my opinion. Okay, let's go to sleep. Okay, meet her at the library. Did you drop this cast bar? No, I don't think so. That script looks beautiful, Master Andreas. Did you write that? You were warned? Warned? What does that mean? Warned about what? Probably has to do with that. How? I thought they caught the murderer. Yes, but it's complicated. Let's just head up to the library, Caspar. Okay. Oh my god, hey, Brother Matthew. Andreas. Brother Matthew, what are you doing out here? What's all this commotion? Father Gernot has asked me to inform the townsfolk that the shrine is closed. So did something happen to it? No, Father Gernot has simply ordered the relic to be brought into the church. The pilgrims are welcome to come visit the relic, but the townsfolk are prohibited from seeing it. Why? The abbot has had enough of the peasants and townsfolk rebelling against the abbey. As their rightful lord, he has been more than than generous, but he cannot let their uh, heretical talk of the Twelve Articles pass. The abbot, under my advice, brought the relic inside to protect it from destruction. With the library closure, the abbey relies on the shrine now more than ever. So is it about money? The shrine is well kept only by donations to the abbey, Andreas. That is a simple matter of fact. The abbot will, will protect the relic for as long as he needs to. Nothing more. I doubt that's the only thing that's on his mind. Will you question the abbot too, Andreas Baller? Have you forgotten that you are a guest here in Tassing? I didn't mean it like that, but I'm just, I'm just saying. Hey yo, he's still alive? <laughs> hey yo! Hello, who's this? It's Andreas Brother Adolf. Andreas Mahler. Oh. Oh, Andreas, the fine young artist from Nuremberg. You're not quite so young. No, you were still you are still young. When you were last year, I thought I was old. I was wrong. Now I feel the true measure of years on these bones. Like the waves of the wide sea on the cliffs of Porth Porth Crag and time has worn me down. But enough of that. How have you been, Andreas? I've been well. Glad to hear it. Do I? Maybe so. I may have worked in the Swiftorium beyond the limits of this body. It pained my joints and strained my brotherly... <laughs> it and strained my brotherly love for Guy. The Scriptorium took my sight and the use of my hands, but when it closed, it also took the pain from my heart. The abbot is content to let me serve the Lord through prayer and contemplation. And and so it also contents me. I'm sorry, Andreas, so I must rest. It's good to hear your voice in Curacao again. God bless. God bless. Greetings, Master Baller. Hello, Sister Z Z Zedina. I want to say Z Zedina. You're looking like a real artist now. I'm impressed. You must be living like a lord. How dreadful. At least you can choose your patrons and do what vocation you please. Now why don't you like living at Kier's house, sister? I'm not like you, Andreas. I never chose this life. My family couldn't marry me off to anyone of higher rank, so they donated to the Abbey. The amount was subs uh, substantial. Substantial? Yeah, substantial. Why did I think? <laughs> I can't read sometimes. Enough for the Abbey to make me to take me in as a nun. I was forced to take the habit. I loved my life before Kyrsau. At least you chose your vocation, and I was shoved into mine and forgotten. And here you are, muttering as though you aren't the most successful person in Tassing right now. Sorry. You're lucky to have the life you do, on Andreas Mahler. You men ca can become whatever you like. While I, a woman of noble birth, am forever stuck sitting with crones and old men. I've accepted a lot these past years, but I can't ever be as perfect as Illuminata. Still, it's better than it was. Okay, see ya. God bless you, Andreas. It's been too long. No doubt your work has carried you far from Nuremberg, but we had hoped to hear from you from time to time. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> it's good to see you again, Mother Illumina. This is my apprentice. God bless you, Mother Superior. God bless you, young Caspar. Master Mahler. 
I just talked to her. It's good to see you, sister. I'm sorry, you have to see it in such a state. It sees very little use these days. What happened? After Baron Rothvogel's murder, we had fewer and fewer wealthy patrons. The small number that held out lost interest. It's easier to commission new work from the Guild of St. Luke or individual masters in big cities like Nuremberg. Father Grenat saw no reason to keep the scriptorium or library open. Most of the book books here have been suffering of neglect. After Mother Cecilia's death, neither I nor Sister uh, Zdina had the time to maintain our inventory. Now, Kirsa was one of the last monastic scriptoria in Bavaria. As Brother Piero was fond of saying, all things change in time. Now all that remains are books for sale to interested parties, a task that Father Grenat has entrusted to me. Ancestor Zadina. Well, I'm eager to look through your inventory. Master Andreas, maybe you could find a book for little Magdalene, something that's not in print yet. Oh, excellent idea. So what kind of book would she like? Parsifal. Perhaps Klaus would not object to this romance given its em emphasis on Christian virtues. The German is a little dated, but I'm sure she'll figure it out with Klaus's help. Who knows, maybe it'll inspire her imagination? Oh, I guess we're just taking the books and just like deciding on it. I think these are Latin translations of some origins uh, homilies. Also, it looks like it's partially burned. Probably not a great gift for a young girl. Oh, wait. This is the same bookend as the notes I found when the Baron was murdered. Whoever wrote this is responsible for writing the notes. I need to ask Illuminata about this. A copy of Jacobus de Vorani? Vore? Vore? Vore ugh, whatever. Golden legend. Every good Christian should know the legend of the saints. And in Latin, it's simple enough that she should be able to read it before long. They don't got like fairy tales. Maybe not like Brothers Grimm kind of fairy tales. Okay, maybe not fairy tales because they're all really depressing, aren't they? Oh, Richard de Berry's Philo Bibli. Philo. Yeah, Fib. Philo. Philo Biblon. <laughs> it's a text on the collection and preservation of books. Maybe this is where Illuminati and Cecilia learn all their tricks. Certainly a good book for a printer's daughter. Seems kind of boring, though, for someone so young. Albertus Magus Magnus de Animalibus. It's ostensibly a bestiary, but it contains so much more knowledge on a variety of topics. This could inspire an interest in animals in the natural world. Beautiful illustrations as well. Oh, like fucking zoo books? Oh my god, I love zoo books as a kid. These are the only books that they have available for young kids? Y'all don't got like a, a kids section? Have you decided on any books to purchase? Yeah, just one. Oh, I don't know. Mm, I don't think the... Ow. How do people sit in chairs? Should I get her the little animal encyclopedia? Or like the stories that she might be able to read? We'll just take this one, I guess. Oh, you know what? She might like that. Thank you. May you find the same inspiration in it that I have. Oh, this is for Magdalene Drucker, Klaus's daughter. A good choice for a young woman. She can learn Latin and the lives of the saints. I hope she enjoys it. Is there anything else you need? Yes, Mother Illuminata, what do you know about this book? I don't know anything. This is the first time I've seen it. Where'd you find it? I've seen it in one of the lower shelves. I don't think it's in our catalog. It's burned around the edges. Why? How can it? How can I find out where it came from? Who wrote it? If it's not in our catalog, I'm afraid I don't know whom to ask. If it was a recent edition, the only people who would know are Mother Cecilia and Father Matthias. That's a shame because whoever scribed this book wrote the letters I found while investigating the Baron's murder. The ones in the fine book hand, Brother Adok told me about them. Perhaps he knows something about this book. He's been here longer than any of us. Why would the person who wrote the letters have scribed a book in our library? Well, that's the question. Whoever did it is the thread puller. Huh? Someone who was manipulating people at Curacao and Tassing, pulling all, th 
pulling at threads to provoke someone into killing the Baron. I thought that old widow killed the Baron. She did, but the Baron was lured to the chapter house by someone who knew Kiersau and Tassing's secrets. Well, I'm afraid we can't be of any help, any more help to you in determining the book's provenance. Or whatever. However, as it's not in our catalog and it's already damaged, I doubt Father Abbott would mind if you kept it. Excellent, thank you. I'm glad someone bothered to save it from the flames. Hey yo, who you? I don't remember you. You're back. Good. We're almost ready to sit down to eat. Would you and Caspar care to join us? Of course. Thank you, Klaus. Welcome back, Andreas. Caspar. Andreas, these are my friends, Benjamin and Rachel Summerfield. They're on their way back to Prague. Good day. Hello, excuse me for not getting up. It's a bit difficult. Of course, I understand. It's nice to meet you both. Hello. Hello. That sounded like a real word, Klaus. She's learning more of them every day. She'll be reading it. She'll be reading before long. That's a wonderful. I don't. Seg. Seg you to the gift that I brought her. Oh? Yeah, consider it a small apology. Well, alright, let's see the small apology. Here! The Golden Legend. Not a bad choice. I don't think I have any printed copies. Lucky me. <laughs> Thanks for this. It's a nice thought. We should probably pray before we eat, assuming the summer fields don't mind. Not at all. We're accustomed to being guests in Christian homes. Thank you for asking. Alright, I'll lead the prayer then. Okay, yeah, bless us, oh lord. Why is this dialogue, like, put in this font? That's what I want to know. Amen. Klaus, thank you again for letting us stay here. It's been such a long trip. Oh, is it time? I- no, oh, I'm fine, I think. Just some- just- I'm just sore everywhere. Anyway, we'd hoped to get home weeks ago, but the fighting has made it slow progress from Basil. Is your home in Prague? Yes, we run a print shop there. Have you ever been to Bohemia? Yes, I spent most of my time in Poland in the last few years, but visited Bohemia occasionally. Oh, okay. Well, did you learn any Czech? A little, yes. Excellent. I don't think I've ever heard that language before. It's Czech. If you've if you've never spent time with the Bohemians, you wouldn't have heard it. Benjamin, it's not polite to speak another language in the presence of someone who doesn't understand it. Yes, dear. Oh, I don't mind. I'm just happy to see you. It's good fortune that you all wound up visiting us at the same time. Tassing hasn't seen this many artists under one roof in a while. And new techniques, new types, new styles are being developed every year. Benjamin is trying to create a more readable script for Yiddish. We have typefaces for Hebrew, but it would be nice to have something separate for Yiddish. I suppose that would be a little easier to read than the Hebrew square type. Yes, exactly. Spoken like a man who understands the value of legibility. We expect our rabbis and the boys in the... Oh no. Yes, Shavad? Is that how you say that? To read Hebrew in the standard type, but it's difficult for others. I'd like our writing to be more accessible, especially to those who only read Yiddish. Here, something like this. I'll be sure to send you some samples when I'm finished, Klaus. Good, I'd like to... Oh. I'm... Yes, I'm fine. Klaus, what are you working on? I need to get ready to sell the travelers as the oh sell to travelers as the pass is open. But lately, I've been printing the twelve articles for the town. Thanks to Father Thomas, everyone in town can read at least well enough to make it through the last through that sheet. It's got a lot of people talking, and a lot are coming over to Otto's way of thinking. Well, you heard him yourself, Andreas. What do you think of what's happening in Tassing? It's a difficult, he's just trying to find a way through. Well, he can find a way through that isn't... Can he find a way through that isn't on the backs of every farmer in this town? They've been dealing with these tax difficulties for years. Now they can't even use the forest. The abbot must be able to appeal to some higher authority for aid. 
try to work something out. Otto tried to reason with him. The abbot won't listen. He got white bread. Apple pie! Oh my god. I do not like pie. Mushroom potage. It's the bread. We're sympathetic to what's happening here. We saw it all throughout Swabia. Peasants are suffering. It's true, but I worry about what happened in Tassing. Ow. I'm fine. Peasants are no match for the soldiers of the Swabian League. What's the Swabian League? Uh, I guess they all mean the same thing. To robbery, murder, and outrage they give the lying- Wait, what? And robbery and outrage they give the lying name governance and where they make a- Make a desert, they'll call it peace? My wife reads a surprising amount of Roman history. The rabbis won't let me read scripture, so what do you expect me to do in a house full of books? I know that Otto and the peasants are taking a risk, but I believe Otto will keep things peaceful. Anyway, it's not the Swabian League we have to worry about, but the soldiers of the Duke of Bavaria. The Prince Bishop has the church's authority, but the Duke's land surround Tassing and Kearsau. Uh, they all kind of mean the same thing, but I feel like a lot of- I feel like some of these are more excuses. Not excuses, but you know, and like whatever, just say I'm sorry and I never wrote back. That's it. I'm sorry. Uh. Ow. Oh, this is it. This is it. Oh no, I was afraid of this. We can't travel now. This is all my fault. We should have left Basil earlier. <laughs> I, don't, I need help. Yes, we need a midwife. Is, is there someone who would accept her? I mean, I have some medical experience. Have you ever delivered a child? Technically, no. So actually, no. Alright, who else is there? Yeah, Agnes Stein, Steiner. Yeah, did, did you get her? Klaus? Yes, I should get her. Agnes has delivered every child in Tassing as long as I can remember. She would never turn any woman away. Oh, thank you. Enough with the thanks. Get me the midwife. Okay. <laughs> Andreas, you're forgiven. Caspar, it was good to have you over, but will you both have to leave? Okay, thank you. Good luck, Rachel. 